uh, hermit, or uh, I always call him a hermit crab, my horseshoe crab is out and about again. So I pretty much just like to shoot some video of him when I can, while I can. I'm not going to be keeping him too long. Uh, they grow really big, really fast, or so I'm told. I've had him for quite a while. He doesn't seem like he's growing. And I honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know how they grow. I don't know if they slough their shell uh, like an actual crab. Uh, they're not crabs. They're actually more closely related to spiders than crabs. But spiders also slough their exoskeleton when they grow. So I don't know uh, how this guy does it. But he's not done that since I've had him. And he certainly doesn't uh, appear to be getting any bigger. So we'll see how long I can keep him. He is really destructive for his size though. I know you don't get a huge idea of his scale. So that gives you a pretty good look at scale. He's not terribly big. Maybe a little smaller in diameter than a tennis ball. Um, but he, oh, he's just like having a little bulldozer in the tank. He knocks my rock pile. This used to be a nice organized pile of rocks. I had it stacked up like puzzle pieces and he has just destroyed it. Um, so he's a destructive little brute. And while he's in there, I'm certainly not going to be adding any other fish or any other uh, animals except maybe the odd hermit crab as the little guys that crawl around in there die off. They don't live very long. Uh, my cat squeaker says hello. So at some point I'll be taking him back and uh, swapping him out, get some store credit for him. I only paid 12 bucks. So in all honesty, even if I just give him back and I don't get any uh, exchange for him, uh, that's fine with me. I've gotten so much enjoyment out of watching him for the last several uh, months that that's worth it for for me to pay twelve dollars. You pay more than that to go see a two hour movie. Really, really neat animal. And you can clearly see the spots on the side are his eyes, um, or its eyes, I should say. I have no idea what sex it is. But those three dots on that ridge down the middle are also eyes. I don't know how sophisticated they are. They may not be much more than just sort of sensors for light and dark. Uh, but I know they are. They do function as eyes. Just scavengers. They don't. They don't prey on fish or anything like that. There's no concern about them eating any of the uh, inhabitants of my tank. Uh, the biggest concern with him is the destructiveness. As I pointed out, he literally knocks my rock piles to pieces. Uh, somebody else pointed out to me that was watching one of the videos of him. Uh, they just play havoc with your gravel bed or your sand bed. They just disrupt it and destroy it by digging and burrowing, um, and it just completely disrupts your biological cultures. And that makes it difficult to keep a tank stable. So this is just my first experimental uh, saltwater tank. I really honestly don't think I'm going to be too terribly into the saltwater stuff. I think I'm going to kind of let this tank ride for a while and we'll just sort of see what happens to it. Um, the planted freshwater tank, uh, open top tanks in particular, is where my heart lies. So I think that's where I'm going to be focusing my energies and not really focusing too much on the uh, marine tank here. In the meantime, however, I've got this really, really amazingly interesting animal. So I'm going to enjoy him as much as I can. I hope you do too. It's not every day you get to see a close-up look at one of these guys. I would give you a look from above, but I'm actually treating the tank right now for cyanobacteria. So I've got the bubble stone going and that's creating salt splash everywhere and it's just a filthy mess. So I've got some plexiglass laying over the top to keep the salt in and so we're just not going to get a bird's eye view of him this time. Uh, in a day or so, once I get this tank straightened out, it'll be a little different. call that another video if uh, he starts moving around again I'll uh, grab the camera and we'll do another one and we'll get you know two for the price of one here so I hope you enjoyed maybe you learned something feel free to comment ask me any questions you want uh, if I can answer them I will so thanks a lot for watching